may be looking for fun, wholesome activities for the family. Here to tell us how you can enjoy the DEA Museum from the comfort of your own home is Carlos Priano, the Public Information Officer for the Drug Enforcement Administration, El Paso Division. Welcome back, Carlos. Thank you, Susie. I know there's a lot of families who enjoy visiting museums, and perhaps many of them don't know that DEA has a museum. I definitely want them to add the, uh, to their list of museums to visit in 2021 when we open up again in October. But in the meantime, I want everyone to visit DEAMuseum.org to learn more about it and to learn how you can visit the museum virtually. Now, I'm definitely one of those people who has to go check it out because I still haven't been. Now, what can we expect if we do decide to watch it virtually or go in person? The first thing I want to talk about is the virtual exhibits. The website has eight virtual exhibits on a wide variety of topics. The viewer controls the virtual exhibit so you can read at whatever speed you want, can stay as long as you want, and for those who prefer an auditory museum experience, there are hundreds of lecture series on a wide variety of topics. We have lectures that go back all the way to 2003. That's great to hear. Now, I know that um, a lot of students are out of school because it's summer. Many families are looking to keep them entertained and find something to do over the break. This is definitely something. That's right. Our younger museum visitors can download the Junior Special Agent Training Manual and can help us solve some cases. Uh, there's also educational resources for middle school teachers because I know some of them like to start planning their upcoming year over the summer. So that website, again, Susie, is deamuseum.org. Explore it virtually, and when we open up again in October, make plans to check out the museum when you visit our nation's capital. Thank you once again for joining us, Carlos. We'll see you back here next week. And again, we're going to have all that information in case you missed it on our website, KTSM.